What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at none other than Kid Cudi, aka The Man on the Moon, and the merch surrounding his newest album, Insano. Now before we get started, I wanted to give a special shout out to the homie Strain Beats who's been cooking up the beats for these videos, so make sure you guys check them out. And while you're here, you might as well drop a like and subscribe and join our free Discord to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest. And I wanted to give a special shout out to my chefs that have been holding it down in there for me. Now, like I was saying, today Kid Cudi decided to drop his brand new album Insano, which I hope later inspires both Kanye and Cardi to drop their new albums later this month as well. I also wanted to point out that while 21 Savage dropped his new album American Dream today as well, there's not a whole lot of merch to talk about, which I think is always a shame, so I think I made the right choice. And I also wanted to give a special shout out to my chefs who recommend in the comments what type of videos you guys would like to see me cover next. Now when it came to my expectations going into the merch drop surrounding this Insano album, I wasn't actually sure what to expect. And despite me being a lifelong Cuddy fan and kind of growing up on his music, I had an idea that it would be kind of psychedelic and trippy if nothing more. So when I saw the album art for Insano, I wasn't actually surprised with the overall color scheme and themes that were surrounding it. And when I saw that the autographed album vinyl along with this Insano T were instantly sold out, it honestly got me really hyped for Cuddy. Because if you've been following him for the last couple of years, I feel like he's been receiving a lot of unjustified hate despite him sometimes arguing with fans. And when I saw that this was a collaborative tea by Verdi for the Insano album, I had to do a little bit more digging. And sure enough, this artist is actually a Japanese prodigy who studied both under Hiroshi Fujiwara of the Fragment Company, as well as none other than Nigo of Fape. And for some dope Kid Cudi lore, I wanted to include this photo of when he first met Nigo all the way back in the day when he was working at the Bape store. I think it's so crazy how so many of these legendary artists and designers have some kind of overlap in their stories. So if you're watching this video and you're a creator and you make it big one day, just remember your boy the kitchen, alright? Now in addition to those first two pieces that were sold out, I also wanted to highlight some of these merch bundles that they have available as well. And starting off, it looks like we've got this Insano Sketch Tee Fan Pack for a cool $60, which also features not only the t-shirt, but also the Insano CD, which is pretty dope as well. But as for my personal favorite feature of this drop, it's got to be the fact that the graphics were recreated from Kid Cudi's own original illustrations. Now, if you've been following him throughout his career, you know that he's definitely a creative and an artist through and through, and I think it's cool to see some recurring themes such as the Moon Man and some other features in his artworks. And I also did want to give Kid Cudi his credit for designing these pieces because they're not actually bad and they honestly remind me of some kidsy ghost West Lang Kanye era pieces. Now this next sold out bundle is actually super dope as well because it's a special collaboration with the legend Cause. And for those of you that are familiar with the arts, graphics, and streetwear, you'll know all about Cause and his presence since the 1990s. Now this is also not the first time Cuddy has worked and had a collaboration with Cause the artist as well, which we'll see a little bit later. And something else I wanted to point out that might have been missed by some people is the actual title and description of the album artwork. Who would have thought that Cause actually made this one and it was an original art piece all the way back in 2019. I wanted to show you guys again so you guys can appreciate this one and I also want to point out the description of the merch states that Cuddy designed the text here for the word Insano as well so you can say that both him and Cause collabed on this one. And it was also during Travis Scott's most recent Utopia merch drops that we saw Cause collaborate with another huge artist and if you guys would like to see that one I'll go ahead and include it in the description. And just to highlight how deep the relationship is between Cuddy and Cause, I wanted to show you guys this Calvin Klein ad where you can clearly see the Cause logo tatted on his back quite largely. So I would say he's definitely down for the Cause. Now on his website, in addition to these bundles, were also these crewnecks or long sleeves, which I thought were pretty dope. And I figured that they would be worth taking a look at because you guys can see some additional designs that are featured on both the sleeves and it looks like the back as well. And while I do like what Cuddy did with his additions to this crew neck featuring the extra words Rager and Insano it looks like on the sleeves, the biggest thing I wanted to point out or perhaps my only gripe at the moment is just the huge contrast in price going from the t-shirt which also included the physical CD for 60 to now just the crew neck for 150. 
Now, with that being said, with the price jump, I'd love to know in the comments if you think that this price is justified and if you actually ended up picking up any of these pieces. And that's not to say that they're not worth the price jump, but I'm just curious myself. Now, when doing the research for this video, I also did come across a previous Insano merch wave from about a week or two ago, which features some alternate album covers for both the vinyl as well as the physical CD, which is pretty cool for the collectors and fans of Cuddy. And I would love to know if anybody in the comments was able to pick up any of these pieces. Now, if you guys recall what I mentioned earlier in the video, this is not the first time that Kid Cudi has collaborated with the Legendary Cause brand, and it was just about a year ago, or about two years ago now, that Kid Cudi had a very special edition release where he teamed up with Cause yet again. It was in October of 2022 that the two legends teamed up for this Man on the Moon trilogy box set, which also featured some amazing Cause artworks. And I honestly just wanted to show you guys what these past Cuddy and Cause collaborations look like, just so you can get a better appreciation of every time these two legends link up. And it's no shade to the current merch drop, but when you see these compared to just the album artwork on a t-shirt, for example, it's not quite the same. And I personally love how Cause worked in and incorporated the whole space themes, the whole man on the moon, and the astronaut themes, which are typical to Kid Cudi, as part of the collaboration with the famous Cause figure as you guys can see here. And for the record, I wasn't familiar with this collaboration at all until I did the research for this video, so if you're like me, let me know in the comments if you're actually rocking with this one. And speaking of these legendary Cause and Kid Cudi collaborations, I couldn't leave out the iconic April 2020 collab that took place between none other than La Flame, aka Travis Scott, Kid Cudi, and Cause for the release of The Scots, which saw three different variations of this album artwork and single, and also debuted during the now iconic Travis Scott Fortnite event. Now, in addition to these singles, there was also a whole lot of Fortnite Travis Scott merch. And if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that, I have covered it in the past. And I'll go ahead and include that in the description. And while this next piece of merch wasn't included in this drop, I did want to highlight that in September of 2023, Kid Cudi teamed up with the controversial footwear company Mischief, who's responsible for these big red boots, and came up with these Insano sneakers. And I'd love to know in the comments if these are a cop or a drop for you. Now with all that being said, if you made it this far in the video, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on both the album as well as the merch. This was my first time really diving into Kid Cudi's merch and I can appreciate what he's doing by using his own original designs as well as teaming up with a legend like Cause. And for the record, I feel like it needs to be stated that Kid Cudi is an absolute legend, so I hope that all of the hate that he's been getting lately doesn't turn you away from checking out this new album. As always guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen. Please stay safe out there and remember, it's lit straight up and peace. And don't forget to join the free discord.